Hello everyone, this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding. All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box. So if you like the work we are doing and if you are learning something from our videos, please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future. So without any further ado, let's get started. Today we are going to build a search bar along with list filtering all inside Swift UI. We are also going to take a look on the concept of bringing UI search bar to UI view controller. Then we use UI representable view to bring view inside the Swift UI view. Our final app is going to look somewhat like this. We have a navigation view which holds a list and a search bar. We swipe down gestures on screen and bring search bar. Then we search and it filters list while we are searching. To build it, first create an iOS app project. Create a Swift file called data. Inside it, create a structure data which confirms to identifiable. Inside it, create a variable ID which equals to UUID. Then create name which confirms to string. Then create an initialize which takes name as input. Then we set input name to our name from the structure. Then create some example data. Then inside the content view, create a variable item which takes our data items array. Then inside body, we create a navigation view and set navigation style to stack view navigation. Then inside it, we create a list which have navigation title modifier. Inside the list, we put our items array, then we take out each item inside the array as text, which show our data item name. Here, we can see our list is appearing. Let's set out list modifier to inset group list. Then create a new Swift file called as View Controller Resolver. Inside it, we import Swift UI. Then create a class called as View Controller Resolver, which is inherited from UI View Controller Representable. Inside it, we create our on resolve function which takes the UI view controller as input and return void. Then inside the initializer, we take on resolver as input, which has an escaping tag which means the view will only be active on the runtime. We set on resolve to the input resolve function. Then we create make UI view controller function. Before this, we need to create a parent resolver view controller which confirms to UI view controller.
This also takes the on resolve as the input. Create initializer which takes our on resolve function. Also create a super unit which initializes the UI view controller. Then create another initializer which takes up the code as input and throw error. If not, we put anything inside the parent resolver view controller. Then create a did move function which takes the input parent which confirms to optional UI view controller. Then we get the parent we set our resolver to our parent. Then inside our view controller resolver, we return our parent resolver view controller and update UI view controller and make UI view controller. Create another Swift file called as search bar. Import Swift UI module. Then create a class called as search bar which confirms to NS object and observable object. Then we create a publish text which takes up the empty string. Then unit constant UI search controller which equals to UI search controller which takes the search result completion handler as nil. Then we override the initializer. Inside our initializer, we set our search controller to obscure background during presentation, which helps to show the list when we remove text from the search bar. Then we set our search result update to self. Create an extension to search bar which confirms to UI search result updating. This takes the on function update search results. We set the text inside the search controller and it shows text according to it. Then we create a search bar modifier which confirms to view modifiers. Inside it we require the search bar.
create a function body which returns some view. Inside it, we get our content and put the overlay inside the content and attach our search view. Add frame modifier with width height to 0. Then we create an extension to our view called as add, which takes up the search bar as input and return our view modifier. This means we need to pass the search bar view inside the add modifier and it will show an overlay view on the corresponding view. Then inside the content view, we required the observed object, then create a var search bar which confirms to our search bar class and then we initialize our search bar. Then inside the list, we use our custom view modifier add function and add our search bar. Inside our list items, we filter the list then we check that if the search bar text is empty. We set it as true or self, we match the item inside the list and check its name which localized to standard which means the text we are entering inside the search bar may contain uppercase or lowercase. So we don't take it to the account and set to our search bar text. So this is how our app will finally look. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. And yes, do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video.